Building a runway consists of three phases. It starts out everything with the survey section. That's making sure that the drawing on the blueprint matches what we're seeing here on the actual physical airfield. Our role applies to the entire project. So the basic process that we go through starts with a preliminary site survey. The objective of that is to gain the information of the elevation and spots of the earthwork so that that way we can put in the post-processing in different programs so that way we can put that information into our surveying equipment to find those exact points of the design and the specifications that are set within the blueprinting. That affects the next step of the process by allowing us to maintain that as we progress along the project that each and every point, each and every pad it is exactly where it needs to be so that way at the end product we don't have any bumps, the runway doesn't end up feet or you know meters off of the center line that it's supposed to be based upon. From the surveying we then use heavy equipment to make the earthwork into what we want. Help if I just blew into it? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it sounds true. <laughs> Our role as heavy equipment operators out here would be to make sure the ground's prepped, compacted, and all the grade before the combat engineers came out and laid their concrete on it. So what we'll do is we'll go out, we'll survey it, see where we need to cut, see what's high, see what's low, make those cuts, put in a, a crown which shaped like that, and then from there we'll roll it so it's nice and compacted so the concrete can sit nicely on top of it. Essentially what we're doing is making an expeditionary runway and then the combat engineers are making it permanent by putting the concrete on top. So it really goes a long way as far as training. Once the uh, heavy equipment is done with the earthwork, then the construction effort begins. The construction effort is based around uh, wooden framing to give the actual 20 foot by 76 foot concrete pads their shape. Rebar is essentially a steel rod with ribs on it. We would lay it sort of like tic-tac-toe. What that does is when we lay concrete on top of that, it hugs to the rebar itself. That overall improves the structural integrity. Uh, we have concrete brought up here by concrete truck. The batch plan is about an hour away, so the Marines have to work quickly in order to make sure that the concrete is placed during the concrete service life. finish the concrete to make sure it is a smooth surface so it can't have any sort of irregularities or bumps in it. And finally, we cut the concrete um, to give it joints so that when it eventually will crack, it'll crack along those joints and not just through the pad itself. That's how you build a runway.